Hello everybody. Uh, in this video, we are going to look at how to create an alignment label that represents the station and elevation details of a crossing alignment for, uh, for a crossing alignment. So in my screen, I have two alignments. One is road 1 and the other one is road 2. So the, at this crossing location, road 1 has the station of 50 and road 2 has the station of 102, 110 respectively. So my intention is to create a label like this which represents the road name, the station at the crossing and the elevation at that crossing location related to road 1 profile and the same details related to a road 2 profile so if you can see here my road 1 has 35.138 at this crossing location if i go to this profile view here you can see at 50 you have this elevation and for road 2 at 110 you have 27.694 so if i move here you can see at 110 you have 27.694 so what we, are, what we are going to do is we are going to create this label and show these values on the plan view because with the default uh, civil 3d alignment label arrangement we cannot get this kind of uh, labeling uh, including the profile so we are using reference text option in alignment labels here let's see how to achieve the task right to do this what i do is i'll select this road one alignment then go to add labels then go to add alignment labels from here i have to create a new style we cannot achieve this task with the default styles so i'll create a new style I click here and go to copy current selection and i will change the name of this as uh, crossing elevations on plan and i will display this description if you want you can add a description then i move to layout tab Currently, I don't want this station of offset details, so I will uh, actually delete that one. Then, from here, I move to reference text option, and my reference text would be profile. So, I am getting the elevations from the profile, and in the meantime, I am getting the resulting stations and alignment name also from there. So I click OK here. So for the reference text name, I will say, say road one details, road one details, and my label text from here. I have to add the resulting details for the label text. So first, I have to add my uh, alignment name. So I will go here and click this one and add alignment name. Then I press enter to go down. Then I will add the station value. So I'll add station and I will set it to three decimal places. Then click here to add to the other side and I will type TA to represent station here. Then I go down again and this time I will add the profile elevation and it will set to three digits and I go three decimal places i add it to the right side editor and i will type here as e l e v to represent elevation and click ok so then i will click ok here so i want to add another detail also but i will first check what happens with this one so i click add here then now my style is highlighted here so i have to select this crossing location so i will 
select this crossing location go to the crossing location now you can see it is not possible to snap to this crossing location in that case you have to zoom out this one then it will snap to the uh, crossing location because when you zoom in there is no there is a gap between the lines so if you zoom out the gap reduces and you can snap to the crossing location so i will click here and then it is asked for road one component details instead of entering those details i will press enter right uh, otherwise you can use this road and the details from here as well but instead i will press enter so it will uh, give you the chance to select the details so i will use road 1 fg because i have selected the road 1 and i will then press k because we have only included one road details in the label so i press k it will go it will show us the details so what i do is i will drag the label outside so to show see this clearly right so you can see road one details are now completed so then what i do is i will add uh, the other road details that means the road e2 details here so i click this one and then i will edit this label go to here edit label type then go to edit current selection then i will add another reference text here for road 2 so i will it will be a profile so this time road 2 details and i will zoom it somewhere here so i will anchor it to road 1 detail and to the bottom left let's say it will say bottom center it will align with each other so i will do the same as the first one so i will do them quickly now should be three digits three decimal places sta then finally we will add the elevation details L E B and press OK and OK again and press OK again. Now you will see a question mark here because we haven't added the road deep root or two details uh, properly because we only uh, use gave road one details. To get the road two details, what you have to do is select this label right click and go to properties so it will show you a location on the reference text object road to profile detail what is the profile you have to select then from this drop down you have to select the correct profile here so if i if you go to there and select the correct details it will show you the road to profile details now you can see my road 1 profile details and road 2 profile details along with the uh, station and alignment names so in this method you can add crossing labels including the profile elevation at any crossing points on uh, two alignment crossings